Hello, and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be going over transcoding in Shop Plus Studio. There are two ways in which transcoding can be accomplished. The first through the preset tool, while the second can be accomplished using the transcode tool. First, let's cover transcoding with the preset tool. To get started, make sure you've selected the preset tool as indicated by the navigation toolkit. Then in the bottom right, switch the preset type to transcode and add a new preset. In the pop-up that appears, you can set a name and color for identification and then the codec type. After clicking create, the center view switches to the transcode preset editor, where you'll be able to tailor everything to your needs from the video and audio settings to the timecode and watermark. When starting, be sure to first drag in your output destinations. You'll also notice a preview at the bottom of the screen. This is visible at all times and is useful for viewing changes made to the resolution. It also becomes important when adding a timecode or watermark later on. Moving on to the video and audio settings, you'll see that most are accessed and changed through a simple drop-down menu. Additional settings may be added in the future, causing this exact view to look slightly different. When adding a timecode, you can choose to insert a timecode track, insert a timecode overlay on the video track, or both. When choosing the second of the two options, you'll be presented with a number of settings. Scrolling down, you'll see you can change the font color, add and customize a box, and change the font size. Every change made here is reflected below in the preview. Click on the timecode and drag it around to place it within the frame. A very similar process is used when adding watermark, text, or images, allowing you to add it to the frame, adjust it to your liking, and then drag it to your desired location. After finalizing your settings, click Done. I would like to note that if you have multiple licenses of Shopify Studio, presets can also be exported and then imported into another instance of the software, helping to maintain continuity in your workflow. Now, with the created preset turned on, drag a source into the center queue and click Start. While the job is running, select it from the list to the right to view its progress, broken down by file. Selecting any file will show its thumbnail in larger detail and provide you with metadata. Now exit out of the job details and change the tool at the top of the screen to the transcode tool. This tool shares many similarities with transcoding through the preset tool but provides a quicker way of editing settings and starting a transcode. In this tool, select the drop-down menu in the center of the screen to select an already made preset or one of the provided templates. After doing so, the settings associated with that preset or template will populate. You can then drag in a source and start a job, or you can edit its settings before starting. If editing the settings, you can decide whether or not to save any changes made. If you plan to only use the new settings for a single job, switching to a new tool resets any changes made. You can also reset the changes manually using the corresponding button. However, if you would like to save your new settings, click the Save button in the bottom right. Then choose whether to override your current preset or create a new one. Be sure to give it a new name if needed. As you can see, both ways of creating transcodes are connected, and whichever you use can depend on your preferences. This concludes our tutorial over creating transcodes in Shopify Studio. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to our support team or let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.